everyone, this is Doxy Mom, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button. You can ring the bell for notifications, and if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Well, Miss Indy and Miss Lucy over here, and she's snoring a little bit, so I hope that that won't bother you through my, um, my broadcast. I'll maybe try to wake her up here a little bit. Anyway, guys, I just watched a YouTube video that one of my wonderful subscribers sent to me. Thank you, Libba Jane. Um, guys, it is awesome. This is a great video. I will link it in the pinned comments below. And, of course, I can't say a lot about it because of the censorship on YouTube. Uh, but please watch it because it shows what is happening in our country, what could happen, and it says in the video, in 1963, the current communist goals to overthrow the United States were entered into congressional record. They stated, one, capture one or both of the political parties. Hmm, well, they captured that old demon rat party, didn't they? And let's not forget about the rhino swamp rats like Mitt Romney and Mitch McConnell. Anyway, then the next step of the communist goals is to infiltrate the press. Well, we all know they accomplished that goal because if the mainstream media were honest people, well, I wouldn't be here on YouTube giving you the real news. It's awful that people turn on their nightly news night after night and just hear a slew of lies. Things like, oh, COVID, you've got to be fearful. It's going to kill you. We got to stay locked up in our homes, terrified, and wear that mask 24-7 and go out and get the vaccine. But once you're vaccinated, you still need to wear your mask, social distance, stay at home, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking if you get vaccinated, why you still got to do all this mess? That's a question for you. Anyway, guys, um, most, most of the mail-in ballots were pushed because of COVID. And now they're telling everyone that Biden won the election. So, yes, our press has been taken over. And in my mind, they are traitors to this country. And y'all know how I feel about that. Anyway, the next step of the communist goals is to gain control of key positions in radio, television, and motion pictures. We all know that's happened, and at least there's still some brave celebrities out there, people like James Woods, Kirstie Alley, Kevin Sorbo, and others, but for the most part, most actors are traitors to this country. So, after this election, it's crystal clear that the communists achieved their goals and all roads lead to the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP paid the mainstream media millions of dollars to publish their propaganda. And we all know that the CCP is given the Biden family billions with a B of dollars, and that's why everybody's pushing Biden to be our next president. But we all know that's not going to happen. And if you want to know the path to Trump's victory, please go to Rumble and watch my latest video. I'll also link that in the pinned comments below. And guys, for all of you who went over to Rumble, thank you so very much for doing that, because that video's already had over 200 views. And like I said, I've only had that account I think I've uploaded three videos over there. I will be uploading this one. I have to upload first and then take a little break for the Wi-Fi and then upload again. You know, out here in the country, this Viasat internet is awful. Anyway, on my video on Rumble, I read an email from a friend who has insider information. And um, I, uh, to me, that that path, the path of how President Trump would win the presidency. The past not really as important to me, but to others, you know, they want to see it. They want to see it spelled out. And I wish I could share it here on YouTube, but, you know, 
Anyway, the last time I checked, we live in America, the land of the free. But our freedoms are being stolen, and if Biden got in, we could kiss our freedoms goodbye because China would take over America and never fire the first shot. Mm-mm-mm. Joe, he just opened the front door to him and just let him walk right on in. And when that happens... Satan wins. And guys, God's not going to let that happen. Why would God put Trump in the White House in 2016 just to undo everything four short years later? And again, all the prophets have prophesied President Trump is a two-term president. So please keep the faith. This is not over. Don't worry. And go have a Merry Christmas with your friends and your families and just know everything's going to be all right and i'm going to link this awesome video that you need to share with your liberal friends and here is your daily reminder to pray for president trump his family 17 in the team our military and their families and all those fighting for our country and our world next i want to go to some tweets that i have been sharing and let me get down here. I had them pulled up, and then I hit the wrong button, guys. Uh, but we wanted to, I wanted to start with Cindy. Cindy Lamar says, My husband and I contracted COVID, took HCQ and zinc, and we're better within hours. We are now immune, don't wear masks, and are living a normal life. But then the drug companies wouldn't make money with that model, would they? Hmm. Well, thank you, Cindy, for sharing your story, and... Been saying it all along about hydroxychloroquine. Then on my Twitter feed is that video. It's called The Plot to Steal America. So you can go over there as well and find it. Chuck Colesto says, breaking report. Sidney Powell's case in Michigan has been put on the Supreme Court docket. And we'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. Then there's a tweet from our president that I'm afraid to read. Isn't that awful? Because, um, you know, you know what it talks about. Representative Jim Jordan says, Dr. Fauci says, you can't see your kids at Christmas. We knew he'd try to cancel it. Guys, don't listen to him. Go see your families. Cat turd, the Patriot Party is trending. I'll be first to join. Well, I'll be right behind you. And I'll show you a picture that someone has come up with that because they're talking about making a new party and calling it the Patriot Party and having the lion as the animal that is is the representative. Now, Sean Davis says, new newly declassified text messages from Peter Strzok show the FBI was investigating Trump before Crossfire Hurricane was ever opened. Let me just stop right there. And guys, if you follow our favorite number, we already knew this. But anyway, it's good it's coming out here. It says on July 28, 2016, Strzok told Lisa Page, there were multiple open investigations about Trump Russia. Crossfire Hurricane wasn't opened until July 31st. Imagine that. Well, Kaylee McKinney, she uh, commented and said President Trump was never afforded a peaceful transition, not even a peaceful 2016 campaign. The Obama era FBI was going after him from the beginning. Great reporting by Sean Davis. And it certainly was. And our poor president, that's why we got to continue to pray for him. And then Kevin McCullough says, Breaking 36 pages, six layers of strategies, constitutional violations, and I can't read the rest of the tweet. Y'all know why. Caleb Hall says, forget waterboarding. Torture going forward should be a prison cell with Kamala Harris laughing and Governor Whitmer lecturing on lockdowns. I just found that funny, guys. I wanted to share that with you. And then, guys, they're trying to discredit um, uh, that wonderful Sydney Powell. And here is the picture. Here it is. This is the picture of the Lion Patriot Party. I don't know who put that together, but guys, prophecies have been talking about the Democrat Party just, well, it's not going to completely go away. It's going to go underground. So, I don't know. This is um, this is pretty exciting. And then uh, Steel Horse Rider says, 110,000 restaurants have closed this year. 10,000 possible in the next few weeks. This is a coordinated effort by the Democrats. They want to make you and 
you and many more dependent on Democrat government. Hashtag, we are the resistance now. We are, guys. We are resisting. And then Silent Justice 2 uh, put out, they retweeted this from Representative Jim Jordan who says, even after the vaccine, Democrats will still make you wear a mask, close restaurants, limit gatherings, impose curfews. It won't affect them, of course. They don't follow their rules. And then, next, guys, the Gateway Pundit. They are reporting that Sidney Powell's case in Michigan has finally made it to the Supreme Court docket. But, guys, we don't need a Supreme Court win. Hope everybody understands that. It's the state legislatures that decide the presidency. So, like I explained in my video on Rumble yesterday, um, it, it talks about all of that. I can't talk about it on here. So, if they throw out this Michigan case with Sidney Powell, please don't freak out. Don't worry. It's all going to be okay. All right? And then I am going to leave you with Proverbs chapter 14 verses 12 through 6 that say there is a way that appears to be right but in the end it leads to death even in laughter the heart may ache and rejoicing may end in grief the faithless will be fully repaid for their ways and the good rewarded for theirs the simple believe anything but the prudent give thought to their steps the wise fear the Lord and shun evil, but a fool is hot-headed and yet feels secure. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, this is Doxy Mom and God bless you all.